Prince Harry was accused of exploiting the royal family on Monday's instalment of This Morning by guest Julia Hartley Brewer. The Talcradio presenter told ITV hosts Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby she thought the Duke of Sussex's multi-million pound deal with Netflix was very tacky. Harry and Meghan Markle signed a deal with the streaming giant to make documentaries, scripted shows, feature films and children's programs. But the prince has been urged to tear up his £100 million deal because of the Crown's portrayal of his late mother, Princess Diana. Debating the matter on this morning, Julia told viewers, the reason Prince Harry should get rid of his Netflix deal is because he blatantly used his royal title, and royal connection, to get it. He wouldn't have it any otherwise on any other basis, and it's all been very tacky anyway. She continued, and let's face it, HES quite happy to carry on exploiting his royal name and indeed his mother because HES quite happy to do interviews talking about some of his most cherished childhood memories. Philip interjected. He signed a contract and they can say as much as they like that he should give it up but HES contracted to Netflix so you can bleat about it as much as you like but HES not going anywhere. Julia replied. No. He should drop the contract because it's tacky and using his royal privilege already, that's the only reason HES making money. It's not because HES a brilliant and talented documentary maker is it? However, a mortified Matthew Wright added. Don't you want to, see it first of all? Give him a chance. I think you've written off his career without even seeing it yet. H is entitled to make a living surely, despite his best efforts. Journalist Matthew's comments did not appear to influence Julia's opinions on the prince. The debate came amid royal experts urging Prince Harry to leave his deal with Netflix after writer Jemima Khan departed the crown over the depiction of her friend the late Princess Diana. Jemima pulled out of the show claiming its portrayal of Diana in the period leading up to her death from a car crash in 1997 did not show enough compassion.